Hey, home buddies. Long time no see. I've definitely been MIA from the channel. Like, I was going a little bit strong during quarantine, and then, you know, it got a little bit harder. Um, but I am back because as of right now, today, it is Black Friday. So we all know there are so many Black Friday deals. Um, I've indulged. <laughs> so I did a little bit of shopping in person and some shopping online. So I'm going to start with the purchases that I've made in store at Joanne. They had a really good Black Friday sale, if I do say so. Um, I went twice. No shame. I went twice. <laughs> so I'm going to try to show you guys everything that I got and let you know what I'm going to do with it. Um, almost everything has a plan, but size a few things. Um, I am doing Slay Simber with my friends. Um, my friends, they'll be doing like hair and makeup every day, uh, making sure to be dressed up. And I don't do makeup, so I figured I would do hair and I would create an item. So that can be a full outfit, it can be a hat, it can be anything. But every day, something that I create will be worn and I'll take a picture. Um, so definitely follow me on Instagram. You should be following me on Instagram anyways, because even though I haven't been on YouTube, um, I was still posting on Instagram and blogging a little bit during quarantine. Um, I even did an entire Little Kim inspired look. It was like a four look thing for the song Crush On You. If you haven't seen it, what are you missing? I basically went viral on TikTok. <laughs> I'm just joking, but let's get into it. Okay, so our first thing. So for some of them, I will show you close-ups if I feel like you can't see them. Um, this is just a simple like blue, red, green, yellow. It's just a plaid. It's a really simple plaid. I only got one yard of this because I am just going to make a bucket hat. Bucket hat has been on my sewing list for a while now and I figured this was the perfect time to do it. Um, give me suggestions on how to style it. I'm good at making things, but when it comes to styling, um, I struggle a little bit. So ideas on how to style a bucket hat would be great. Then next, this is my absolute favorite. And like, it's so ugly that it's so cute. It reminds me of a couch from the 70s. Um, I have like an obsession with like textures that remind me of like a couch. Cause I remember when I was younger, my dad had this like gold chartreuse, like, velvety couch and for some reason that couch just sticks in my mind forever and every time I see anything like it it makes me think of it um but with this it's so gorgeous it's like this deep teal with these flowers I'm not usually huge on like wearing floral but I do like floral and I will be making a like a um like a thigh length duster um, I think that's going to be super cute. <laughs> I need help on styling that as well. I don't know if I want to go like simple and wear like all black under it or something, but we'll see. And then for this one, um, this is super different for me, like the actual texture of the fabric because it's not a stretch fabric. And if you've been here for a little bit, you know that I usually work with easy fabrics. And to me, easy fabric is something with stretch. Um, but yeah, it's red, black, white, and blue. And I want to make a shirt. Um, I don't know exactly what type of shirt. I want the shirt to have some type of buttons. I want it to be structured. Um, I think I got three yards of this, so maybe something special with the sleeves. I don't know yet. And then this one, absolutely gorgeous. Like absolutely gorgeous. It's really soft. It's a knit fabric. Um, I got three yards of everything except for the fabric for the bucket hat. Um, it's this pretty like burnt orange with these flowers and I'm thinking like wide leg pant jumpsuit and I'm thinking maybe like a deep V with long sleeves I don't know if I want the tops to be pretty simple but for sure I know wide leg pants and then our next one I don't have a plan for this yet but it's just this red with like these black designs super soft super stretchy just like the one that I just showed you um I have no clue yet. I'm going to look around because I know that this can be really nice. I just don't know what to do with it just yet. I don't know if I want to try to do like a two-piece set or a dress or, you know, I really don't know. So if you guys have any suggestions, definitely leave them down below. And um, the rest of it is pretty 
fluffy. Um, that's the best way to explain it. So I got some Sherpa. I've always wanted to buy Sherpa. I've never bought it before though. Um, so this is going to be like loungewear. So for sure it's going to be shorts and like a robe type of situation. If I have enough, I'll do like a tank top or something. Love this. If you've never felt Sherpa before, I don't, I don't know. You're missing out. It's like those really soft blankets that you can buy. That's all this really is, is a blanket. Um, it was actually inspired by, I wish I could think of the girl's name. She has a YouTube and she's also in like the sewing group that I'm in. And I possibly follow her on Instagram, but I still don't know her name. It starts with a K. And she um made like loungewear out of a blanket, but I didn't want to go to Walmart because I was already in Joanne. So I just bought the Sherpa Plus. It's Black Friday time and holiday time and I'm not going to Walmart during this time. Okay, that's that. Um, might hear a little bit of rustling. Because Joanne has 75, no, it's just 70% off of fleece. I've never purchased fleece, but I've always had, like, ideas for it. So this super pretty, like, tie-dye look. Um, I'm going to do onesie pajamas. Um, I've had a pattern for it for so long. This isn't the original fabric that I wanted for, but I couldn't find the one that I really, really wanted. But this is going to be gorgeous. And I'm thinking of doing like um, for the like this, the little sleeve. I want to do just like a solid pink because I think that'll be really pretty. But yeah, it's going to be footy pajamas. And I'm super excited. Um, I think this is going to be one of my favorites because I've always wanted to do pajamas. Okay, so we got two more, but it's for one project. So I'm gonna pull them out together before I talk about them. Sorry if you hear the back. Like literally, Joanne had to put the fleece into a large trash bag, like a large trash bag because I guess they just don't have bags big enough. But if you see these two, um, so this year I haven't consulted with my entire family yet, but we are wearing matching Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve. Um, so it'll be me, my mom, my brother, and my nephew. Um, and it's going to be so awesome. I'm thinking I'll put the guys in just the checker. And then me and my mom in this. Um, Joanne ended up running out of this fabric. This was the primary fabric I wanted. So I had to substitute. This matches perfectly. So I went ahead and just got two. Because I think that that'll be super cute. It'll kind of give it a little bit more like character um and then i have like <laughs> the cutest idea for like family photos um hopefully i mean i honestly not giving my family a choice my mom kind of was already just like okay and I, i'm pretty sure my brother and my nephew will be down so look forward to those because i think that's going to be super cute um so as of right now that is all of the fabric that i have from black friday shopping i did shop on mood I have a really big order coming from mood like i spent a pretty penny at mood um and then fabric wholesale direct i always say that wrong but i think it's fabric wholesale direct um because if you know if well you guys haven't i haven't been following my blog because i haven't been keeping up with youtube to tell you about it but on my blog i did talk about my top 10 places i love to shop so you know that two of those those two are two of my favorites um if you guys are wondering i spent it was within two trips the first trip i think i ended up spending 132 and i ended up getting like a zipper and some chalk in that total and then when i got the fleece and i went and got that today on actually on black friday i spent like 35 so what i spent like 160 something um, yeah, so not too bad from Joanne. Um, so stay tuned for my next couple of hauls. I'll try to put the other two together. Um, and then definitely tune into my Instagram because I will be posting every day in December. Um, I'll try to get some videos out on YouTube, but I haven't figured out how to structure those videos just yet. Um, like, I don't know if I should do like, like this week or if I should just wait until the end of the month and do like a whole month recap like I'm not 100% sure I'll try to do some sew alongs but my sewing area um it's a little bit hard to film in it so 
we'll see i'll try i'm de like if you have any ideas on what i can do to incorporate slay simber onto youtube definitely let me know if it's just lookbooks that you want to see um if you want me to do styling videos or anything like that definitely let me know and i appreciate you for watching go ahead and like comment and subscribe and definitely follow me on instagram the overdressed homebody um and then talk to me there because i definitely respond and have a great day and have a great holiday bye